practice. First, we display the bar number. Our frame consists of four bars. We will divide the left column into three parts. Select the left column with the control key pressed. Click the right mouse button and select the function split bar with nodes from the context menu. The location of the new nodes can be given in the table or by selecting bar division into equal sections. Let's choose a division into three equal sections. Click split. By displaying the number of members and nodes, we can see the members have been divided into three members. The reverse function of splitting a bar with nodes is the operation of merging bars into one bar. Let's mark with a control and three new bars resulting from the division. Click PKM and select Merge Bars from the context menu. The result of this function is the conversion of these three bars into one bar. We divide the transom into the so-called sections between purlins. Mark the entire transom consisting of two bars. Click the right mouse button and select Divide Bar with Nodes. In the table, we enter the location of the new nodes, i.e. 0.5 meters from the beginning of the bar, 0.5 meters from the end of the bar. We choose Divide. Both rods were divided. We mark the internal parts of the divided bars. Click the right mouse button and select Divide Bars by Nodes again. We choose to divide into five, into five equal sections. Click Split and we can see how the whole transom has been split.